good everybody it's Mike Norbs here and as you can see I'm taking out the damn trash one of the things that I've at least come to learn living on your own is that if you don't do the chores they usually don't get none so it is what it is it's just taking out the damn trash who really cares so Whew. Fucking stinks we only got that done out of the way so What's up on the list right now for uh, what I'm going to do is first, I'm heading off to Walmart here. I have to get a new pair of uh, windshield wipers for the baby van, my girlfriend's daily driver. And then also I want to get a, uh, see if they have a foam cushion for the uh, new race seat I got. Because it's just a little tight and I was hoping that just a little bit of that extra padding underneath will just offset it enough so that my hips can sit uh, more comfortably. So it's not too bad though. I definitely realized that it was a slim seat when I first got it because it sat on the packaging. So if anything, I know that if I just don't like it at the end and after a while, I can just use the same bracket that I customized to put in my driver's seat and it's going to fit in my posture as well because they're uh, interchangeable seats so that's cool if anything it'll just need slight slight modification to fit like a little stupid sensor or something that's underneath it but I'm not really tripping out about it I'm gonna let you guys know when I get back from Walmart back in a bit fucking hot out like can't even lie about that shit so yeah I'm in a tank talk now just picked it up from Walmart while I was there actually it's like four bucks so who really gives a shit let me show you some of the stuff I got all right so I picked up this little gel cushion from Walmart this thing is actually really great and fits in the seat almost perfectly so when I sit down in it it's not really like it takes away some of the effect of the bucket seat honestly but for just everyday driving that's not too bad because i only need that really like hold, tight tight hold especially on my hips if i'm racing no other reason at all honestly so hold up right obviously i got a pair of uh, the rain x latitude windshield wipers for my girlfriend's car because hers are straight garbo and don't even work so i picked up some good ones and if you can't tell fireworks a crap ton of fireworks. I plan on having some fun over the next few days and then picking up some more and having some more fun on the 4th of July. So, fucking awesome, guys. I was gonna leave this part out, but I guess it actually just reflects a little bit of that everyday living. Tell it, baby, guys. The Big Pack. That's how we do it. What is up? So one of the other things I got while I was there, I can't really just get this since I talked about how hot it was. I literally got like 10 or 12 just mixed Gatorades and stuff like that and Powerades. Like, I usually do that every time I go to Walmart just because it only costs like 8, 9 bucks maybe for that many. They're like 80 cents to a dollar a piece and I'd rather get them while I'm there than have to go and make a trip to go get a cold drink. You know what I mean? Plus, unlike soda, these actually rehydrate you. So yeah, go Gatorade. Oh yeah, so I'm trying out the seat right now, if you can't tell, and very comfy, very, very comfy. I can definitely fit in the seat like a lot better now too, like I mean obviously my head's a little bit too high if I were to take it to the track, but I don't really take the Audi to the track ever, I never have, so I plan on doing it in the future or having a car to do it in the future, so that's what's great about having this too, is that I plan on customizing the seat brackets and stuff too. I knew that this might not fit regularly with the brackets they sent me but I'm okay going and getting some sheet metal drilling out the custom holes and then when I move into my new place and I actually have the amperage that I can actually use my welder welding the custom brackets together because as far as just holding a seat together I'm very confident in the welder I have but as far as doing like super super strong body holding things nah, I don't know about that I just gotta do some more research still or get a better welder I don't know but I've also learned a lot of tricks on welding good with a crappy welder, mainly just heating the fuck out of both ends of the metal so that the weld really deeply penetrates into it and makes that strong seal. So, I don't know, but that's going to be it for this one today, guys. Not really doing too much. Um, 
Oh, I did actually get this. Hold up. Some of this uh, glitter, glitter, uh, clear coat, and then uh, silver glitter fleck. What I'm planning on doing is uh, I just recently painted the rims of my BMX bike, or at least the front set. So I want to take off both sets and then uh, paint them again, put a fresh coat over. I need to uh, put clear over the front, so that's why I got the glitter, is to give it that kind of nice little reflective sparkly pattern. I want it to kind of look like a star, and then or like a starry night kind of thing, you know? And then uh, the rear, I wanted to do the silver fleck, because I feel like the black and the silver will offset each other really well. So yeah. That's my plan for right now. If it comes out good, I will definitely either show you guys the process or show you guys. And then probably do my whole bike like that. So, don't like doing things expensive. We're all about doing stuff here cheap, guys. So, if you like this, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. More car content soon. Deuces, guys.